being the customer's needs is really the way that we do business and the way that we aspire to do business. Uh, I, I make them feel appreciated by following through with what I say I'm going to do, whether it be uh, getting back to them by a certain time uh, via a phone call or a face-to-face -face meeting and essentially by you know owning, owning the call and providing accurate information um, to the customer. I am in constant contact with customers on a daily basis. Um, I believe that um, our customers are definitely our most important folks. They're the reason we're here and without them I wouldn't be sitting here today. The, the, the relationship with the customer is very important. Um, it, it's something that, that is sometimes very hard to build and very easy to, uh, to destroy. Customer needs means trying to put myself in their shoes. Quite often we can transact with customers at least once, whether it's once a week or up to 20 times a week. So we're really only as good as the last opportunity or the last rental we get from our customer base. So we really need to make every call a winner. We have to have them thinking about why they actually choose us each time and also why they want to choose us next time. A lot of the boys start early or finish late um, to try and get the machines finished on time to satisfy our customers. I just try and create the best experience possible for them as an internal customer by making sure that I'm friendly, approachable, I, I make sure I follow up on what I say I'm going to do and if I can't help I make sure that I point them in the right direction. Being a customer needs, it's not just a token, it's, it's something we live by in field service. When we take that call on a day-to-day -day basis, listen to what the customer actually want and not what we can actually sell them. You, you've got to respond when you say you're going to respond. Keep your promises. If you, um, if you say you're going to do something, you've got to do it. I always use a person's name in a conversation and at the end I summarise uh, what it is that the customer is hoping to achieve. I'm trying to understand our systems, our services, our products better so I can better assist them. It's one of the things I really like about working here at William Adams is the ability to, um, I guess, take ownership of, of the call. We're at the front line here. Um, a lot of people, for, for whatever reason, will be transferred through here and um, they call us parts, parts interpreters. Sometimes it's, this, they may not be needing parts. It's um, from here we can, we, we can find out what, you know, what, what is it they require. All of the guys in the IS department know to hang on to the call until they find the right person and ensure that the person of the other side, the customer or whoever it might be, isn't left hanging um, or isn't, doesn't fall between the cracks as it were. The customer's got machines down or something like that and uh, they need the parts desperately. We'll um, do everything we can to get it to them even put them straight on a courier, not a, at our expense, just to make sure that we get them service as quick as possible. Um, if we come across a problem, it's nice having managers with a trade background that we can refer to and ask questions. Um, all our managers live and breathe Caterpillar, and we all share a common goal, and that is doing the best job we can and delivering high quality products. And it's getting the small things right. It's like taking a phone call when the phone rings in a timely manner and then getting that person to where they need to get to, being who they need us to be, being what, being where, being why they need us to be what we are.